Hey everyone. I hope that as you're watching this, you and your family and loved ones are safe and healthy and sane in the midst of these crazy times that we are in. I know um, here it's officially week six of quarantine. I have lost track of counting, but wherever you are, I hope you're maintaining and navigating through this season as best as possible. This week I had a conversation with my uncle and it was really around everything that's going on in the world. And he said to me, you know, there's a message to be learned. There's a lesson that we are all supposed to take from the season that we're going through. And I couldn't help but think, you know, to myself over the last couple of days, what, what is God trying to tell us in this season? You know, there's a scripture that comes to mind that says, if my people who are called by my name would pray and humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I'll hear from them and heal their land. This scripture has been on my heart all week because I truly do believe that there's something that God is trying to tell us in this season. You know, we're going through something that we've never seen before as, a, 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 as humanity. We've never seen this before. We've never experienced anything like this. And despite all of our advancements in technology, all of our scientific advancements, all of the leaders we have in government, the entire world is still at a standstill. This virus has brought the world to their knees and we still don't know how to get out of this. I can't help but to think that no matter how far we've come as a people and no matter the advancements that we've made in the world, God is trying to tell us that we are not in control because we've lost sight of the fact that God is the creator, not us, not man, not the government, and no matter how far we get in life, we cannot lose sight of God and the work that he has done in, in our world and for us as a people. You know, it just, it brings a lot of thoughts to mind and I can't help but to think that, you know, God's also trying to tell us that it's time for a change. It's time for us to shift the way we do things all together. And we're being forced to do that in this season. You know, I read a quote somewhere that said, um, not all storms are not all storms are brought to disrupt your life some storms are created to clear your path there is a cleansing that's happening in the atmosphere there is a shift that's happening a paradigm shift for many of us that we have to take heed to and have to be aware of you know i think a lot of us have lost sight of what's important you know and it really does come down to our faith it's time for us to get back to God. It's time for us to get aligned with our faith and prioritize the things that are more important. It's time to look at our family members and get closer to, closer to them and really build those bonds that have been broken or strained over the years. We've been so busy being busy being busy that we are losing sight of the most important things in our world and in our lives. And it really, it's really time for us to shift the way we go through things. It's time for us to shift what we prioritize and understand what's essential in life. I love that term that's been going around as far as you know what essential businesses are and who the essential workers are. But I think right now it's time for us to look internally and determine what's essential to us as individuals, right? Because right now someone that's in a hospital that's struggling to breathe that's struggling to catch their breath, the most essential thing to them right now is having air, is having the ability to breathe on their own without any external support. For someone that lost their, you know, their spouse or their child in this awful time, the most essential thing to them is having that family member, is having the people that they're going through life with. It's not their jobs, it's not going out for brunches, it's not the parties or the outings that they get to do, it's the family and the connections that they have with people. I think now more than ever, it's time for us to redefine what is essential to you, you know? And as we go through this, really take the season to seek clarity, to find the wisdom and guidance in this moment that we are in. I charge you to think of what God is trying to tell you in this season. What is that thing that you've been running from that you've ignored essentially that God has slowly been tapping you on the shoulder to say, listen, I need you to pay attention to this. What is that area in your life that you've been neglecting that you know that you need to be tending to but you've been running from? 
in this moment of stillness, it's time for us to look within. It's time for us to do the internal work to get to that place where we live in a higher version of ourselves, where we live more expansive lives, more meaningful lives, lives that aren't filled with just fluff, you know? Do things that really bring value to who you are as a person, but also really make a mark in the world. You know, I just, I just wanted to stop by and just really pose that question. What is God trying to tell you in this season? And encourage you to look within because now is a perfect time for us to redesign our lives. Now is a perfect time for us to arrive back at ourselves. But most importantly, now is a perfect time for us to find what matters the most. So I hope this message helps you. I hope it serves you in some way. And I hope that you take the time to really look within and find some type of peace and clarity in this moment. All right, guys, I'd love to hear what your answer is to this. Leave a comment below and feel free to share this with anybody, anyone that you think um, this would be beneficial for. All right, thank you. And I hope you guys continue to remain safe and healthy and take care.